Katie Liu and welcome to Cooking with Katie. I've got a special guest today, with Harry. Hi. <laughs> have you ever done any dairy-free cooking before? I actually have because my housemate's dairy-free. Oh, so what a coincidence. Most of our meals are dairy-free, yeah, yeah. Which is very true because I am dairy-free and all of our cooking today is going to be dairy-free. So first of all, we've got a dairy-free macaroni cheese. Yes. And then we've got some dairy-free cookies. Let's get cookies. Let's start. So we'll, first of all, we'll do the macaroni. So we've got macaroni here and we've just got to heat up the kettle and then we'll get started. Yeah. We're going to put it in here. This will serve about three to four people. And now we're going to leave it to cook. There's a few ways to crush garlic. You can either use a garlic crusher, so we can put it in there, and squash it. And then you just push it off into the, into the saucepan and get as much out as you can. Or the other option is you can squash it with a fork. Which is messier and harder to do. Much messier, but as a student you might not necessarily have a garlic crusher. And then just pick it up and put it in the pan. So now we're going to put the heat on this one. We're going to put it on a low heat to start with. And we're going to add some oil. You can add however much oil you want. It's, it's not like oil is really bad. And also it will help to, to not let the cheese stick later. It's heating up and the garlic's going a bit crispier. Okay, so now that that looks nice, we're now going to add some flour. So we want roughly two and a half to three tablespoons of flour. And you can just add it slowly and it's just to make, make the oil and the garlic go a bit thicker. So around that much until you see sort of a thick paste of flour and it will go a bit yellow and now slowly we've got almond milk because we're doing it dairy free and then you just slowly add it and if you do have this problem where it's burning a bit don't worry so just add some oil and then it will stick less to the pan <laughs> at this stage it's fine that it's lumpy because the milk will just make it go smoother just keep adding the milk there's a few last flour lumps in there. <laughs> you can get rid of them with a bit more milk. As you can see, I'm just adding the milk as you go, but you can literally add as much or little as you want, depending on how much flour you want. You just have to get it to like a nice liquid like that. Keep it on a low heat. And then we're going to add some cheese in a minute. The cheese is um, vegan as well. It's dairy free. It's used, made with coconut oil instead of milk. And what, what else is it made with? What's it's that? got carotene in it. <laughs> carotene. <laughs> carotene, which I think is what they've added to make it look yellow. So we're going to add half the cheese. Just sprinkle it in and it will melt in. Make sure it's on a low heat because we don't want it burning at this stage. Now with dairy-free cheese it is harder to melt. So you'll find when you do eat the pasta later, it does have like bits of cheese in. So it's quite nice though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, we like it. Also, you can put as much or as little cheese as you want. I mean, the first time we made it, we put loads of cheese and we found it too cheesy. As you can see, it's really melting in there. Really nice and it's got really thick now. Put a bit more in. And then we're going to save the last bit to go on the top of the pasta. So, we're going to use dairy-free butter because we don't want to be using dairy at this point really nice it's I think it's olive oil sunflower oil so it's healthy again and you just get a tiny bit of butter just put on there. and then you literally so this is just so the pasta and the cheese uh, the sauce don't stick oh Oops. <laughs> that's all right I'm gonna pour that over the pasta Spread it in. Make sure it goes all sort of in between the pasta as well. Because it's almond milk and different cheese, it is going to look a bit different, but don't be like afraid of that. Just go with it because in the end the taste will be amazing. 
then Harry, if you want to put the last bit of cheese on top, yes, just put it wherever you want. That will make it melt on top and make it crispy. Now we're going to put it in. Oh, it's hot in there. So we've left the macaroni in the oven now, and you just have to keep checking on it to see how it's doing. Yeah, it should take more than like 20 minutes. Yeah, I think by the time we've finished our dairy-free cookies, we should be okay to go, and we just want it really crispy. Everything's already cooked, so it's not cooking, it's more like... Yeah, we're just getting it, we're getting it all together. <laughs> so we're going to put our aprons on for this, which is really exciting. So we weighed out the caster sugar and the light brown sugar, yes. and we did 100 of brown sugar and 150. 25. 125. <laughs> and, now, and it's uh, uh, 225 of flour, so the flour and sugar are the same amount. Yeah. And then we, we need to weigh the, the butter, butter, which is 125. So we want to get, I think it's a roughly four big spoonfuls. Tablespoons. So it doesn't have to be exactly right, just get a rough amount. So that's sort of the amount it would look like. Yeah. In. In. We'll add the flour. And we want to sieve. slowly sieve it. Yeah. Last time we made a real mess of it, so hopefully it won't go all over David's table. I don't think he'll appreciate that. You just want to try and get low, no lumps, and you want to get as, as much, much air. And then we're going to add all the sugar. That doesn't need to be sieved. <laughs> you are such I'm a mess. So <laughs> I'm so crazy. I can't have you as my assistant. And then we add the egg. Just one egg. So this is a long process of muscle work. So just yeah, keep at it. Take it in turns if you're doing it with someone else. So this will make roughly maybe. It depends how big you make the cookies, to be honest. Yeah. And you can do it in batches. They only take about ten minutes in the oven. So it looks like just lots of. It doesn't look nice. Lumpy like bits of floury, sugary butter. But it will all start coming together. It will. Okay, so it's all starting to come together now in a in the middle of the whisk. Yeah, we can add the peanut butter now. You can add the flavour whenever you want. If you add it early, it will only sort of taste more like peanut butter. So if you like peanut butter, go for it. Just get all that peanut butter in there, and then just keep stirring. It'll get all, even more <laughs> sticky now because of the peanut butter. In the end, they'll taste so good you'll forget how you made them and how they looked. Yeah, <laughs> and how they looked at the start. So we're going to add our chocolate chips as well. Again, you can add them at any time. They are quite strong because they're raw. So you can just sprinkle them in. I think for this bit it's easier to use the spoon. So as you can see, it's now like congealing as a big ball. Make sure you wash everything after you use it just in case someone's allergic to peanut butter or <laughs> anything else you're using. And then just use the tissue to wipe around the pan. You wash your hands. <laughs> and then you pick up a ball of the mixture. And then you can make it into any shape you like. So just make sure it's quite thick. And remember what we said before, they really do expand. So just make sure you leave lots of room in between them. There's another one for you. So you can see the chocolate chips in there. So when it's cooked, it'll be really nice. And you can kind of choose, if someone doesn't want chocolate chips, you can actually, you know, because you're making well, it yourself. <laughs> yeah, so you can make sure that they, they don't actually have them, which is quite nice. That's our plate of biscuits. <laughs> They're going to go in the oven. The oven's already preheated. So yeah, just, just leave it about. Preheat it to maybe, yeah, 180, 200, depending on your oven. Stick them in for about seven to 10 minutes, depending on how crispy you want them. And then they're done. So we've got our finished Yay, meal, meal. Real. which is really exciting. So we're going to put some salt and macaroni cheese because because it's almond milk and kind of fake cheese. Yeah, <laughs> coconut cheese. Oil. It's not as salty. Um, it's not as salty. So you just want to add a bit of salt on top. But obviously, it's up to you how much salt you add. Yeah. And then should we give it a taste? Should we go? It's going to be really hot, isn't it? Crispy oh, we got for different sides. That's all right. I took a massive piece. So hot. <laughs> Our mouths are going to burn. I'm scared. <laughs> Definitely leave it a bit after it comes out of the oven so it can cool down a bit. Nice though, mm, really, really nice. good. Now we're going to try the biscuit. You want that one? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have a taste of this one. Nice and crispy. Mm. And <laughs> the size 
size difference is such a joke. <laughs> so good. Really nice. Thanks for watching. Thank you.